Good afternoon, family and friends that we've gathered here for this wonderful occasion. And we're going to start it off with, um, with an invocation of prayer. And so we, b we bow our heads and ask the Lord, the good Lord, to bless these proceedings. Bless all of you who are in attendance today. And bless our public officials and give them wisdom as they carry out the duties on behalf of the citizens of Laredo and Webb County and the great state of Texas and, of course, the United States of America. Amen. Amen. This time I'd like to introduce former County Judge Mercurio Martinez, Jr. to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. So if you'll all stand, please. to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great. Thank you. I'd like to introduce and recognize some public officials that are here with us today. First of all, the Honorable Pete Sines, Mayor of City Laredo. The Honorable Jesse Gonzalez, Commissioner, Webb County. The Honorable Danny Dominguez, Justice of the Peace. Judge-elect Bobby Quintana. President of the Board of the Laredo Community College, now called Laredo College, Mercurio Martinez, Jr. City Manager, Horacio De Leon. And we'd like to thank all of the city staff, the city manager staff who are with us today and made this event possible. Next, I'd like to ask the Honorable Judge Mercurio Martinez, Jr. to um, come in and administer the oath. We're going to get this thing rocking and rolling. I will ask the family of my son, Mercurio, to come and stand right next to uh, and behind and around. The, How their father. <laughs> Would you please put your hand on the Bible? And this is the oath of office that I will do. And raise your right hand. I state your name. I, Mercurio Martinez III. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. Of the council member district three. Of the council member district three. Of the city of Laredo. Of the city of Laredo. State of Texas. State of Texas. And will. And will. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Preserve. Preserve. Protect. Protect. And defend. And defend. The Constitution. The Constitution. And the laws of the United States. And the laws of the United States. And of this state. And of this state. So help me God. So help me God. <laughs> I got to adjust the mic. Dad's up here, and I'm still growing. <laughs> Thank you very much uh, for all of you all that came here today uh, to witness this. It's uh, been uh, long in the making. Um, since I was little, we've always tried to help the community 
Um, thanks to, to Dad that's always pushing us to better our community, to leave a mark uh, that is positive uh, for those to remember that uh, we all come uh, from God and, and uh, we must leave this earth a better place than, than when we uh, got here. So I want to say uh, thank you to Tata, who when we first started this venture, she said no. <laughs> 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 I said, well, uh, there's a lot more other opinions, but uh, thank you very much. But then embraced it uh, as, uh, as we went along, and uh, I would come home, and she would say, no, you can't be saying stuff like that, and you got to do this. No, 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 you're, you're too rough. Or you... So she kept me in check, and she kept me in line, so thank you, babe. <laughs> To my boys, uh, Milan and Moises, they uh, were out of town a lot, but uh, when the going got tough, they came down and uh, really helped out. They, they held signs. They learned how it is to be a, an electioneer, other than when they were little kids for, for my dad when he would be running. But uh, it, it, it was a natural fit for them, and so thank you very much. Uh, they are my rock, my, my support. Um, Mercurio in heaven um, was uh, always felt his presence. So thanks to my wonderful family. <laughs> my parents, my parents, of course, dad, who's who was always uh, there for for the phone call and seeing what I what I would think, or you know, he was always that support that I had. Mom. Always uh, there, también, just uh, mijito, si, you know, or <laughs> how you doing? Um, so thank you, Mom. Tia, who's my other mother as well, um, always a support, always uh, my ringtone for Tia is always the happy ringtone because she makes me happy. <laughs> Yolanda, I, where is she? There she is. <laughs> I call her Allah, but most of all, I call her my favorite mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> she always has an opinion, and she's going to let me know about that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. My sisters, Letty, who came with a whip, <laughs> uh, the magistrate. <laughs> but she kept us in line. She kept all my siblings in line, uh, uh, would call the meetings. Uh, she's the one that took the bull by the horns. And, and there from day one saying, OK, we need to organize. She is an organizer. If you don't know her, she's got everything. To Adriana, who would always come in and, and uh, very happy and uh, didn't know what she was getting into, but she was always ready to work. <laughs> of course, uh, she had it rough because her son got married and she was going through that, that wedding phase, and so uh, it, was, it was tough. George, my biggest cheerleader, where is George? Oh, he's got the, he's got the, uh, the company uh, luncheon, except for he took his staff to San Antonio, so I know. <laughs> He was a cheerleader. I mean, the guy, he made friends with uh, all of my opponents and the opponent's opponents, and he makes friends with everybody. Charlie, the workhorse over there, um, I'd give him uh, signs, and he would go put them up. Of course, I would go with him, but, but uh, he was the one that was ready to climb that tree or climb that ladder or something like that. And uh, I was willing to stand underneath to catch him but move out of the way as soon as he fell. <laughs> Rosie, who is out of town, uh, she lives in San Antonio, but uh, always praying for me. So thank you to uh, my siblings. We're six of us. Um, to my cuñados, Pepe, you were always there every day. Uh, how's it going? What can we do for you? You know, what do you need? Uh, huge support. Uh, so, so thank you very much. And Cynthia, along with him, uh, also, uh, she was my uh, my Spanish speaking. You know, I would <laughs> rub things off of her, and 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 she she knows how to speak Spanish a lot better than I do. Uh, Bevo, of course, uh, full of support all the time. Uh, 
when we communicated, he went through some knee stuff uh, and he was going out of town, but always on the phone giving me that in that encouragement. Um, and then, uh, of course, Erica, um, he, she um, would bring Luke and uh, we would go walking. <laughs> and Liam joined us every once in a while, but uh, he's uh, one of those straight-A students, uh, so we're very proud of him. Um, and then uh, Oscar, um, of course, my MC. Um, he's the one who introduced me at the very beginning. Um, Luis, a support, and uh, he was my cook. Um, Chris, where's Chris? He's probably having a luncheon, too. Everybody's having luncheons around here. Um, Evelyn, um, thank you very much. Uh, I know you were uh, had extracurricular activities going on inside of you, but uh, <laughs> um, and then uh, Letty and Linda. Um, Linda handled some of the barrios for me. <laughs> Letty, Letty también. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of good support that I had there. Uh, so, so uh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I had a lot of sobrinos. Um, Beto Boy, there he is. Louis, Triana, who would come out of town to be the support that, that she was. Carlitos, Martin, and Roel. Uh, I grew up calling Carlitos Muggy, Snoopy, <laughs> and Roly Poly. <laughs> um, Karina and Anali. Um, were always there. Um, they didn't want to break their nails, but they were out there. Uh, Emmanuel, uh, Don Patricio, uh, Patrick uh, Gentry, I call him Don Patricio. It's that beard action that he's got going. Uh, Luke, again, th this little guy over there, he was a trooper. Hold him up, Erica. Of course, uh, Liam and, and Mila. Where's Mila? She's my cheerleader. There she is. <laughs> Eduardo and Fabian, thank you very much. Then I have the comadres and the compadres. <laughs> Gladys Keen over here who would prep me uh, for debates and stuff, um, would give me, uh, she would call me up and bounce, I would bounce ideas off of her, so thank you very much. Licha, Annie, uh, Olga, over here. Uh, Mark, I don't see him around here, but uh, Blas, Blasito. Uh, Memo Bravo back there. Um, Hector Chapa, huge help. The Esperanzas. Uh, Hector Garcia, I call him Banana because there's a lot of Hector Garcias, but he's my banana guy. Um, Juan, Jerry Villegas, uh, Mario Becerra, Ingrid. Rosalia, Marta, Sonia, Mine, Rachel, Pinga, Lydia, Diana, Gordo, Annette, Greg, and I cannot, and I cannot miss Sergeant Roberto Elizondo Indio. <laughs> I had a few counters in the uh, as poll watchers. They didn't know what they were getting into, but man, did they come th through. Adriana, Sarah, and Louie. <laughs> so thank you very much. <laughs> now when I started all of this, I, all these guys, they were all there. And then in the runoff, I had a, a vitamin B12, a shot in the arm. And they came in, as, and I want to say thank you very much to Wawi Tijerina, Jesse Gonzalez, Danny Dominguez, uh, and the constable uh, Mike Villarreal, uh, and of course, Bobby Quintana. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and I must include in that group Patty Tijerina, who also helped me a lot. Um, the Lugo family, I mean, the Lugo family, thank you. Y'all, <laughs> Mrs. Lugo, I mean, you, you raised a fine group of, of, of men, um, and uh, it takes something 
uh, for you to go through the to through an election, not make the runoff, and then just roll up your sleeve and fight for what is right, fight for what you want. And uh, well, your boys, they just uh, they said, you know what? Every time that we would get together on a debate or a forum, whenever I would say something, uh, A B would say, oh, I agree with that. Hey you've got the same ideas I've got, hey, and, and, and so it was a natural fit for him to say, we're gonna help Merck. And then the family, of course, um, came through, and so thank you very, very much. <laughs> I'm, I don't see A.B., but I'm sure he's on special assignments. Well, there he is! <laughs> I, I, I thought you were on special assignment or something, but I did see your mother. So, <laughs> so thank you. You were a huge help. Um, Manuel, I mentioned you up with the compadres and the... <laughs> and of course, the group that started it all. Dad, of course, was there. John Beckelheimer, my absent compadre that was my campaign manager, so we called him. Um, Patti, Patti was a workhorse, so uh, she's out of town right now. Letty, there's the other workhorse. A.B., Paco, Rochelle, I don't see Paco or Rochelle around here, but I did see A.B. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Thank you very much. And Joseph. Joseph Gentry. I left him for last. <laughs> if you didn't meet Joseph, that's probably because you weren't around him because Joseph was, I mean, smart, he's articulate, and he remembers everything and then if you don't think he's paying attention watch out because he is <laughs> he couldn't be with us here today but I think someone was going to be videotaping it and sending it to him but Joseph thank you thank you thank you <laughs> I hope I didn't leave anybody out um, We've got a lot of work to do. Uh, this council uh, members here is a good group. They're good people. They all ran for the right reasons, and for the right reasons, we're all gonna get together and do the right stuff. Um, there's a lot of projects that uh, we need to, to get going. Um, in my, certainly in my district, but it's not just about District 3. It's about the city of Laredo. We need to make it better. I know I was talking to Onyx about this. Uh, Christy, of course, uh, you and I have had a lot of conversations about how we develop in this, in this community and how things need to change. Uh, we've also talked about how, uh, of course, with Viviana, we've talked about different projects that uh, need to get going and get it off the, the ground. Uh, Laredo is on to a really, really good place, and I'm very, very happy to be part of that. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming and <laughs> you all stand adjourned. <laughs> Mayor. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go. Y'all hungry? <laughs> Oh, I gotta sign something. I think there's some uh, stuff outside. The staff has been have have been putting things together. The city staff, but um, but we're good to go. Thank you. Mayor, thank you. You're welcome on board. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.